All right, how's it going, Neil? So today I want to talk about five reasons why photographers need a Synology NAS. I'm not saying every single photographer, even just very simple amateurs, have to have a Synology NAS, but these are going to be five reasons why a photographer of pretty much any skill level and amount of shots can get a lot of use case out of a Synology NAS. Personally, the reason I got into Synology and created this entire YouTube channel that's absolutely spiral out of control is the fact that I was a photographer and I was looking for a place to keep all my raw files. And so this video is gonna go over five reasons why a NAS could be great for you, specifically a Synology NAS. All right, and so before we got into this, I wanna talk about what a Synology is. So this right here is a Synology NAS. And as you can see, it's pretty much just a computer with hard drives in it. So essentially, they've all got front bays that you can put in however many hard drives you can buy. They go all the way from one, all the way up to 12 hard drive bays. And then there's some crazier ones that have like, now there's one with 60 hard drive bays in it. So pretty much any amount of storage you need, you can find with one of these things. And essentially what it is in there is there's a computer in here that essentially takes the hard drives and presents it to the network as storage. And so this means that you can log in on your computer from anywhere on your local home's network connection and also outside of your home's network with some setup to be able to access all of the raw files on here without plugging in an external hard drive. So think of it kind of like an external hard drive you can access anywhere on your network. Now, there is one caveat to that. With an external hard drive, you can stick your Lightroom catalog on there, that .lrc file. With a Synology and any SMB file server, any network file storage, you cannot store your actual catalog on the NAS. Instead, it needs to be on a local hard drive, but that is not too big of a deal because you can keep all of your raw files, your previews, everything actually on the NAS itself, which is what takes up all of the space. All right, and so then what this allows you to do is you, it allows you to have like centralized storage for so many different hard drives and so much storage. If you need more data, you can simply just add another hard drive, expand out the volume to get access to so much data to keep everything centralized. All right, so now with that out of the way, there's a very brief introduction there. I'm gonna have a lot more videos very specifically on different setups for different users, but a ton of professional photographers who I've got clients for use Synology NASes for all of their storage, especially if they're working in between teams. All right, so now with that out of the way, let's talk about the first reason why. And the first reason why is just centralized storage. How many of y'all have like 60 different hard drives spread out over so many different places that you've got all these different raw files on? You've got, whenever you open up your Lightroom catalog, seven of them are offline, some of them are missing. It's just chaos. So many clients I have had this exact same setup and I just have to go in and you can combine everything into one external place and you don't ever have to worry about your files anymore. You know where all of them are and they're all on one centralized place that is upgradable. And then on to number two is kind of a continuation of that. And that is the fact that the data is safe. So the data is safe in so many different reasons. So the first is the data is actually safe from bit rot. So bit rot happens to hard drives over time, pretty much any hard drives, but especially external hard drives that essentially ones turn to zeros and zeros turn to ones without ever really being detected. And so that will just corrupt an image and now you will no longer be able to make it, to use it. And that happens randomly over time. Very low chance, but as time goes on, it gets more likely. And you'll start to notice a few of your raw files will be corrupted. Nothing too concerning unless it's that really important raw file. With the Synology and BTRFS, you just set up a scrub every three months and it automatically every three months will detect every single one of those bits that is rotted and changed to the wrong value and fix them without ever telling you. It is great. You can have data on here for 15 years and have no worry about bit rot occurring because it's self repairing. The other reason why it's super safe is you can add a raid to this thing. So RAID stands for redundant array of independent drives. No, nothing name. Essentially what it is, is it's combining multiple hard drives together to give you redundancy in most cases. So for Synology users, I would just recommend an SHR1. Don't really care about how it's set up. All you need to know is essentially what it allows you to do is you can lose any one of the drives in your array and you will still have all of your data. And at the cost, it is simply the cost of the single largest drive of your array. 
And so that means if you've got three 16 terabyte drives and two eight terabyte drives, you will have essentially the same storage equivalent as if you had two 16 terabyte drives and two eight terabyte drives, but you can lose any one of the five drives and still keep all of your data. This is not a backup, but it is redundancy. And that brings us on to number three, is these things are incredibly easy to back up. Backing up a Synology NAS has some of the most powerful features there, and it really lets you choose what to back up. You can say, okay, I only want to back up my exported JPEG files because having 20 years of raw files and paying monthly for that is just not worth it to me. You can also go through and say, you know what? I'm just gonna buy a second unit, stick it at my mom's house, and back up to that every single night. And so that way you only pay for storage up front once, and then you have no monthly cost. Backing up on a Synology NAS is incredibly easy, and it's so much easier if all of your photos are in one centralized place to back all of them up. Now on to number four are actually very specific Synology apps, and number four is Synology Photos. So Synology Photos right here gives you the ability to just have all of your files in such a nice, clean, easy to use interface. So what I do for my setup is I have every single one of my exported JPEGs I keep in a specific folder on the Synology. And then they become available to any device I give them access to, including my phone, everything, without actually being stored on there with this beautiful web interface. It makes it so easy to keep track of your exported JPEGs and your exported JPEGs are the files you care about most. And so it's so nice for that. It gives you the ability to share things and it just makes it so easy to keep track of all of your files and get to see everything. They've got filtering options that are absolutely amazing. You can choose almost anything to filter on. You can say, I wanna only see files that were taken at F18. It is so easy being able to filter down like that and you can even start to filter by lens. Anything you want to filter by, you pretty much can. It is just a great setup and I've used it a ton. Then if we move on to number five, five is it makes it so easy to share your files. You don't have to upload them to Google Drive and send somebody a link or Dropbox or anything like that. You can just share them directly through either the Photos app here or through the actual file folder, and then it'll just have the client download a zip file. It makes it so easy to share things without having to worry about paying for cloud storage or anything like that. I really love the ability to share files on Synology NAS, and for photographers who are constantly having to upload things and send out data to different people, it is so nice because it also does not touch them. It doesn't compress the files. It doesn't change the file type. You never have to worry that your client is getting a lower resolution file than what you've saved there because they're downloading the exact file you've saved. And so it is so much easier than worrying about what Google Drive is doing to your photos. All right, well that was it for this quick overview of why photographers really can use the Synology NAS. There's so many more other use cases and I am planning on making an entire video going over Lightroom workflows and everything like that for photographers. It's really gonna be more of a series, so stay tuned for that. And if you're looking to really get your company set up overhauled with Synology NAS, I actually do consulting for that and there's a link for that in the description. All right, well that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Go and leave any of the tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.